In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can get the user input to make your Python programs more dynamic. So you probably know the function print, okay, print hello, which is going to print hello on the terminal when you execute it. But now, if you use the input function, okay, let's run that, the input function is going to wait for you to provide a value. So here the program is still running. I provide a value and then you can see the program exits. So that's how you get a value from the terminal with the input function. Now let's do something more with this. So what we can do is we can, for example, put user input variable is equal to input. And then we can maybe print the user input. So let's do that. So it's going to wait abc and then you can see abc so here you have the two sides of the communication in the terminal input and output with actually print what you can do also with the input is to provide some text okay to give some information of what you expect the user to give you for example how old are you and i'm going to rename it with uh, user age okay let's run that so you can see now we have how old are you? I click here, I put a value, let's say 37, and you can see 37. So that's how you use the input. Now, one thing to pay attention to is that whenever you get an input like this, it's going to be a string, okay? So even if you provide a number, this is going to be evaluated as a string, okay? If I do print type user age, you will see that even if I provide a number, this is a string. So now with that, you may have some problems in your code. Let's say you want to double the number you get. Okay, so I'm going to create here a new variable. Let's say double number is equal to user age uh, multiplied by two. Okay, and I'm going to print double number. Okay, let's run that. How old are you? Let's say four, and you can see double number doesn't give eight, it gives 44. But actually this is not 44, this is four and four. What you're going to do here, you simply duplicate the string when you do multiply by two, you just put the string with the same string. So you have the string four and the string four. So if you want to use numbers from the input, you are going to need to cast them. So for example, int like this, you can use int or you can use float. Okay, I'm going to use int, which is going to cast this into an integer value inside the user age variable. And now I run that again. How old are you? Four. And you can see the double number is eight. So this is important. Make sure you cast the input if you want to use numbers. If you liked this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also check out my online courses so you can learn Python step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.